look at how many orders and how much time has gone into packing these orders that I'm sending out this morning all over New South Wales, all over Queensland, all over Victoria, uh, all over the world. We have Philadelphia, uh, Great Britain, we have uh, California, we have another one in California actually. Um, just all over the world. Look at that. Look at that. It is day two. This is the second batch of orders that I'm sending out. You saw the first batch in, uh, in yesterday's video, but this is the second batch. I'm sending off even more today. It feels crazy to sit here and just like look at all these parcels that people have bought, you know, of t-shirts with my name on them. Like it's crazy that, you know, you know, how, like how hard I've worked at kind of creating, you know, my name and getting it to kind of where it is today. I'm just, I like, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless right now. I'm just so stoked. I've pretty much spent the whole entire morning packaging these orders. It's taken hours. Most of them are Australia-wide. Uh, yesterday, I had heaps of international orders. Today, I only have four international orders. Uh, as I said, Philadelphia, California, Great Britain. Uh, kind of the same as yesterday. Um, crazy. We have sold, we've officially sold out of all of the mediums. We've got three, all right, and by the way, I'm speaking, uh, like, the day before this video is uploaded. So by the time this video is up, uh, all the t-shirts could very well be sold out, although right now as I'm speaking, just to show you out of interest, we've only got three small left, we had a big stack of mediums just there, obviously they've all sold out. So out of the mediums, we've got three small left, and then we have, uh, are we, I think we're out of the large as well, I think we're out of large and, yeah, we're out of large and extra small, so what's left right now as I speak, remember, this is the, like, a day before I upload the video, so by the time this video is out, they're probably all sold out, but maybe not, so go check it out first, link in the description. We've got three smalls left, and one extra large. I'm pretty sure that's an extra large. Yeah, one XL. When you receive yours, take a photo of you riding in it. If you don't ride scooters, you just happen to buy one of my shirts. Take a photo of you holding it or you wearing it. Just show me that you bought a shirt, upload the photo to Instagram, tag me in the photo. I will see it, and if you guys want a shout out in the video, just let me know in the caption. Like, hell yeah, I want a shout-out in the video. And I will give you guys a shout-out in my YouTube video. I'll show you the photo. Um, I'll shout-out your Instagram name. I won't do all of them at once. Like, if all of you guys receive your shirts roughly at the same time, I'll probably do about 10 in each video. Now I'm going to finally send them off, which is, like, the last step to, uh, I guess, getting um, getting my T-shirts out to you guys. And then I'm going to come back inside, sit at my desk, and speak to you guys about all my camera gear, how I bought it, how I dropped out of school, and pretty much afforded all the camera gear on my own. Uh, because I brought pretty much all of it on my own. Um, and I think you guys would be interested. I think I mentioned doing this video a couple of videos ago and you guys were like heaps keen. So first I'm going to go send all these out. Then I'll come back inside and tell you stuff about my camera gear. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back inside, sitting down with all my camera gear here. Real quick before I get into this, I just wanted to say another massive thank you to everyone who's ordered a t-shirt over the past couple of days. Much, much, much appreciated. You will be receiving them soon. They've all been sent out, so get hyped, get stoked. Now into the kind of like the main purpose of the video, which is um, me showing you uh, all my camera gear that I have, because uh, you guys seem to always ask me, uh, you know, what camera gear do you use? Wow, what camera did you use for that? How did you get that angle? How did you do this? How did you do that? Etc. And surprisingly, you guys also asked me how I purchased all of my camera gear. Like, oh, how did you drop out of school and afford all your camera gear? Well, I brought every single piece of camera gear here, which is, and by the way, I'm not going to like take you way back in time and show you all the camera gear that I've had in the past. I'm only showing you the gear that I use for the channel, uh, because that's pretty much all I have right now anyway, and um, every single piece of gear I did buy myself, I'm pretty sure, so I'm going to pretty much show you what I use and how I bought it. Um, and for those of you wondering, yes, I did drop out of school, and for some reason that, you know, appeals to a lot of people, like, how did you drop out and afford this and that? Well, I'm about to show you everything uh, today, and we're going to start off with the oldest piece of camera gear that I have that I use for the channel, which is the Canon 60D. So this right here is the Canon 60D. It's a Canon 60D body. It's one of my DSLR cameras. It's my only DSLR camera. Beautiful camera, as you can see, 60D. And then on the uh, camera, we have the uh, the Samyang 8mm fisheye lens. Beautiful looking lens. Uh, now, the body itself and the lens, I both brought separately, and I also have a Yongno. 50mm lens, which I also brought separately. So the body, the fisheye, and the long 50mm lens were all purchased separately. So I'm going to start off with the body. Uh, basically, when I first dropped out of school, um, about six months after I dropped out, 
there was a competition in Melbourne and I was working at KFC like after I dropped out of school and then I quit my job at KFC with like 800 bucks and I paid for my flights to Melbourne to um to film and enter this competition and I ended up winning the competition I've actually made a couple of videos um about that competition and uh comps and you know how I got by when I dropped out of school and stuff I'll link those videos in the description below but long story short I won that competition I won two thousand dollars which to me at the time which still is like a lot of freaking money. I won two grand. I was super, super, super hyped. And um, the only thing that I didn't have at the time, because I was filming like video parts and stuff then, uh, was a good camera. I had like an old uh, Sony uh, DVX 1000 or something, which was so crap. It was on tapes and everything. And all I wanted was just like a nice DSLR camera. So as soon as I got back to Sydney, I went on Gumtree and I found the Canon 60D body, just the body itself. So just this part right here. I found a second-hand Canon 60D body on Gumtree. For those of you who don't know what Gumtree is, it's kind of like Craigslist for America, I guess. It's kind of like an eBay, but everyone sells stuff second-hand. Anyone can sell stuff. And, um, yeah, I found this Canon 60D body, which was uh, in the city area, and it was $400. Now, brand new, I'm pretty sure these are around $1,000 for the stock lens or something, or even more. So, considering this is in amazing condition, the body, and everything works absolutely fine, and I'm the second user right now, it is... Like, one of the best things I've ever purchased. So, $400 for the body. Um, and then, the fisheye lens. There's a bit of a story behind this. The old camera that I had, the Sony D7X, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Um, I had a fisheye for that camera. And my mate also had the same camera. Um, and he also had one of these with the fisheye. And he traded me his Canon 60D fisheye for my old crappy fisheye. I don't know why he did that. Actually, I gave him 100 bucks as well. So, he, you know, we both got a pretty good deal. Um, but I was happy to, you know, give him the lens and pay the 100 bucks because I got this beautiful Samyang 8mm fisheye lens. It's amazing. This is what I use, like, for filming lines. And I use this camera, this whole entire camera setup here, the body, the fisheye, and uh, this lens that I'll get into in a second. I use this all for my tutorials. I don't think I use it for... I mean, I, I use it for filming video parts. But I've never filmed, like, a full video part for this channel. Uh, but my Welcome to Urban Art, which is on the Urban Arts YouTube channel, um, I used this whole setup right here. And then I brought an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which is, like, a very stock lens for the camera. And I got that off a mate for 50 bucks. And then my mate Jared accidentally dropped it one night. He was very, very, very uh, generous and kind enough to purchase me a brand new lens. And it's a 50 millimeter lens, so it's got a fixed zoom length. The focus is just amazing. It's really, really, really fine. Obviously, you've got the two lens caps on there, manual focus and autofocus, I just keep it on manual. So this camera had great use, and I still use it for all my tutorials. My first of a vlogging camera, when I started vlogging, I brought a Sony DSC HX90V. It was just like a digital camera with a flip-out screen, and I don't have that with me now. I'll show you a picture of it right now, just a picture I get off the internet. Uh, that was the camera that I owned, and I paid $480 for that um, a couple of years down the track in... Uh, about mid-2016, I had a job at Toys R Us, and that was when I started making vlogs, and I bought that camera for around $480, I think, and, uh, that was a great camera that pretty much, like, started off my channel. Actually, I used my 60D for, like, the first three or four vlogs for, uh, for this channel. I used this to vlog, and it was super hard, because this camera is so big, the screen flips out to the side. That's what I was using, um, for the first... About month or so. Sony DSC HX ninety V, which I do not have anymore because I gave it to a mate so he could uh so he could start up his channel and apparently he broke the camera. Or it broke on its own. I don't really know, but I don't have that camera anymore. I actually upgraded before I gave away that camera. And the camera that I upgraded to, I'll show you in a second, but before I upgraded to that camera, I got a GoPro. A lot of you guys actually asked me what GoPro I use and how I get all the angles, uh, you know, for the POV stuff and how I get like just pretty much all the angles and what GoPro I have. It is the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. Super super freaking nice super wide angle lens. I love it. I've got a spare battery So that's the battery that I use kind of like just like the normal GoPro battery then I have a Kingston SD card It is 32 gigabytes. Obviously, it's a micro SD So the little SD card will slide out of there and you've got the Kingston micro SD adapter in there So you can obviously import your clips onto the computer. Here's like a little bag that I bought for the GoPro I was still working at Toys R Us at the time and that is how I afforded the GoPro and then to buy all the accessories for the GoPro I'll show you all my accessories right now So first of all I have the casing the stock casing for the GoPro and then inside this little bag here I have a spare battery. I also have an LED light which is super bright super freaking bright and the LED light the spare battery um, the mount for the LED light and this little uh, lens cover which sits on the camera just like that I brought all of the accessories um, with my first ever pay from YouTube so that was freaking awesome like I was able to um, actually fund my YouTube channel and you know put more into my YouTube channel to make my videos better 
using money that I'd earned from YouTube. Um, so that was freaking awesome. So I bought a bunch of accessories. I got like the little lens cap, spare batteries so I could film more throughout the day. Got an LED light that I use at night sometimes, which I've used actually kind of recently in a video. Uh, the meet and greet video with Scooter Brad. I also bought this, this chest mount. And basically, for all those wondering how I get my POV angles, this sits on my chest. Well, it sits around my shoulders, kind of like you're putting on a shirt. This is how it goes on, just like this. By the way, I'm rocking the, uh, the shirt right now. So, I um, mean, yeah, that's how I get all the POV angles. And then recently I introduced this new angle. Right here, I've put on the front of my deck. Right here is a uh, is like a little kind of GoPro mount thingy. And I just stuck it down to my deck. I peeled off my grip tape, stuck it down. And now I can uh, mount my GoPro onto the front of my deck. So, it can film like kind of my fork and my wheel. Or it can film behind like the shoes and stuff. This is what I used uh, with money from Toys R Us when I upgraded from my Sony DSC HX90 V. I upgraded to the camera that I'm filming on right now, which is amazing. It is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. It is uh, by some people and by some websites and stuff voted the best camera, the best vlogging camera worldwide. First of all, a lot of people actually use the 60D. I know that Scooter Brad uses a camera that size. He uses an 80D, a Canon 8D. Uh, yeah, a Canon 80D. And um, I could use a bigger camera. The reason I find using a smaller camera, and I'll show you a picture of the camera right now because obviously I'm using it to film. I feel like being a street rider, when you're kind of jumping over fences non-stop, when you're riding from spot to spot, when you're bombing down hills. You know, I'm doing tricks with the GoPro and I just find that this camera is a lot easier to use. If I'm, for example, holding this camera and I've got the chest mount on my chest with the GoPro on and I quickly need to bomb down a hill or I quickly need to jump over a fence and I'll just switch up to the GoPro angle, I can, like, I can literally just turn off this camera, shove it in my pocket, jump the fence or bomb the hill and then take it back out again and start filming. I find if I had a bigger camera, I'd have to you know, stop and take time to put it in my bag and pack it all away, take off the lens, etc. and kind of, you know, have it all snug in my bag. Um, although when you're trying to run from the cops or run from security and you don't have time to pack away your big DSLR camera, I can simply just chuck this in my pocket and run. And um, it's a lot more discreet if you're trying to film in like an area where you're not allowed to film or something. Um, it takes amazing photos uh, at 4K quality. It records in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So this camera is all around. Just an amazing camera. I love it. And it's the Mark II and some of like the biggest vloggers worldwide use this exact same camera. So it is amazing. And I bought this with money I had from Toys R Us. I pretty much blew all my earnings from Toys R Us onto this camera. I remember I remember that day. It was crazy. And these batteries were $30 each online. So $90 altogether with free shipping. And uh, I bought those batteries using my YouTube money. So um, that was awesome. Uh, I bought the spare SD card as well. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. So, I guess uh, the more you guys support me and uh, help me out, you know, the more I can put back into the channel and make my videos, you know, ten times better. By having extra batteries, I can film more throughout the day, film more exciting events. Um, so, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm benefiting the channel a lot with, uh, you know, with the money I earn. And I'm not saying that I earn millions and millions because I don't. Uh, but the money I do earn, I put back into the channel and uh, try and make my videos better quality. Uh, I guess I use, like, three cameras for my YouTube videos, which is freaking awesome. Um... And my desk is so freaking dirty. By the way, this is a really, really, really old GoPro. It's like my family's old GoPro. It's like the GoPro Hero 1. And the lens is like cracked in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty bad. And, um, yeah. That's all my camera gear. That is how I bought my camera gear after dropping out of school. I think the best piece of camera gear I ever bought was the 60D. Not that I use it as much, but because I dropped out of school. Got a job at KFC. It was crap. I quit that job. I hated it. Went to Melbourne. Won that two grand. And I just felt like... So happy, you know, I came back, bought myself a camera, started filming videos, you know, grew my name from there, and yeah, it's just, it's actually been crazy. I've, I've really been working so hard at all this, so thank you so much, guys. If you guys want any other videos about, like, you know, how I dropped out of school and did this or did that, or just, you know, more kind of real kind of speaking videos in general, uh, then comment down below, give me some suggestions, because I'm super open to making, like, any videos about my life, because I'm not really, like, embarrassed or, you know, like, I don't feel like I have anything to hide, so, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, um... I can speak about a lot on this YouTube channel, and a lot of you guys, since my video about how I went from sponsored skateboarder to pro scooter rider, a lot of you guys said make a skateboarding video, so would you guys think it would be cool if I like bought a skateboard and went and tried to ride my flat bar or something? I don't know guys, let me know down below. Quite late in the days, that is why I didn't go out and do anything like super, super, super exciting today, because I've been shipping out all those packages this morning, but I feel like you guys really enjoy the videos where I just sit down and, you know, speak some real stuff and, um... Just, you know, speak and, you know, kind of interact with you guys and show you some stuff about my life and all that. And, yeah, I feel like you guys find these videos interesting. It seems like you do. So, uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Same time on the channel. Daily vlogs, guys. Stay tuned.